once again everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time joining me today hi my name is Hannah that little boy right there is Rusty he is an old man and he's very very sweet and he likes to pop in and out of my videos so that is the rust puppy he hangs out sometimes he's very cute and anyway let's jump into this video that you actually came here to see and the uh, stop me gushing over my dog so let's go so as you can see from the title this video is all about the reason that I lasted one measly day at charming Charlie and that is just because it was one of the strangest and probably well it's not the worst but it's one of the worst places that I've worked even though I only worked there for a day I saw all I needed to really see in that one day of working there so basically one of the main issues was that the manager of the store was like I think she was like Russian or Swedish or something and I couldn't understand a word that she said. Apparently, none of the other girls could understand a word that she said either. So, it was kind of just like a crapshoot on what you were supposed to be doing. It was weird. I asked other people. They were like, no, we just, we just do stuff. We don't know what she's saying. So, I'm like, okay. So, this manager's accent was like super thick and nobody could understand what she was saying. So, I was kind of just at the mercy of my other co-workers. And the main issue that I had with this store was that like you can't finish checking someone out until you ask for their phone number and their email address. And I'm used to this because when I worked at Victoria's Secret, we had to do that too, but at that store, you can bypass it. Like if the person says, no, thank you, I've already given you my information, you could bypass that and be like, no, they've already given their information. At Charming Charlie, you cannot do that. There was no way to bypass it. You had to enter it every single time, which astronomically slows down the whole checkout process. Like it will back the line up so quickly. And for a store that's so cramped and so organized, you would think that they would want to, you know, shorten the lines and shorten the times as quickly or as often as possible. Like if you don't want a long line in that cramped, store you don't want people standing there forever like people get irritated it's not a good time so it doesn't make sense to force them to give you their phone number and their email address while they're standing there every single time like if they come there once a week what's the point of getting their same phone number and same email every single time i understand that it's important to get this information because the company wants it but it's just a hassle and it's not at all worth it and that was the least favorite part my whole my least favorite part of the whole day that i worked there and i know that i couldn't continue working there because it was just so problematic like to me it was an issue like it was unresolvable because like I hated asking people and they were like well why do you need it and they would be like well I already gave it to you why do you need it again you know so it's just like oh not fun not to mention I was supposed to be a cashier and I mean like not to mention that for the first three hours of my shift they had me standing just casually in the floor, like in the middle of the freaking store, steaming a rack of clothes. Like customers were walking by and I'm just standing in the middle of the store steaming clothes. Is that normal? Like, is that okay? Like, I don't, I feel like you should probably do that in the back room. Why are we standing in the middle of the store doing this? Like, I feel like my talents could be better used. Like, I feel like I could walk over and help these people who are struggling to pick out an item in this section. Like, I'm watching them struggle, and they're like, no, no, just stand there and steam clothes. Okay, that seems reasonable, I guess. Another really weird thing I noticed was that there was, like, a drawer of tags that were taken off of clothes, 
and they believed that these were like stolen items and that's why the tag had been taken off of them and they made me run around the store trying to figure out which items these tags went to so like there was like a drawer of tags off of clothes that they thought were stolen like tags that they found on the floor just like on the floor and they're like this item was stolen and they're like go find what item it is and so it's just like what is this really the best use of my time i'm supposed to be cashing people out and like you want me to go find things that you assume have been stolen is it not possible that like somebody was leaving the store and they ripped the tag off and threw it on the ground like i don't know anybody who does that because i mean i wouldn't just throw stuff on the floor of a store but people are animals people do not care like there are trashy people in this world who will just like rip stuff off of clothes and throw it down litter in the middle of a store like i i don't have any faith in people so yeah if you find tags in the dressing room yeah maybe they're stolen but when it's tags from the dressing room from the floor from like literally anywhere if you see a tag they'll pick it up and be like oh this was stolen go find what it's supposed to be like can't you just run it through the computer like can you not just run it through the computer and be like oh that is this item let's see if we're missing one of them like, why is this necessary? It was like the dumbest thing ever. My shift was only six hours, or five or six hours, by the way. <sighs> Maybe it was four. It was between four and six hours. It was like kind of a short shift. I feel like I'm used to working eight and nine hour shifts at Walmart. Like, I'm not even worried about it. So it was short for me and it, I don't know, it was just weird. And their scheduling, they wanted to schedule me like two days a week and work like four or six hour shifts. And I'm like, that's not gonna work for me. I'm sorry, I don't, mm, at minimum wage, I don't think so. I don't know. And she's like, you're getting good hours at this store. Like you're getting really good hours. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I've worked at Victoria's Secret. I've worked in other places. I know what good hours are. That's not good hours. I mean, minimum wage here is $7.25 an hour, and I'm used to getting paid like $9, $10 an hour. So getting like 10 hours a week at $7.25 an hour, it's not going to cut it. I'm so sorry. It's not. So like the main things that made this whole thing bad is like the manager I couldn't understand, the lack of hours and pay, the weird um i don't even know what you'd call it it's not really go backs because there's nothing to take back the weird tag drawer where they send me to find the stolen items um the freaking phone number and email um gathering i don't know there was a word they called it not retrieval but something weird and it's just like it was too much it was too weird for me even for me it was too much so i was just like you know this this is not gonna work like this isn't like gonna work out i'm so sorry but i'm not coming back here so that's the reason that i worked one day at charming charlie thank you guys once again so so much for joining me today leave me a like if you like this video comment down below and subscribe because i make new videos every monday and friday thank you guys once again so so much for joining me today and i'll see you guys next time bye